All right, guys, Jeff from Double Tap here. What I'm going to try and show you today is uh, I get asked a lot by people whether or not they should put most of their money into their rifle or into their optic. I always advise people to put as much money as possible into their optic before spending a lot of money on a precision rifle. What I'm going to show you right now is a... Uh, scope I can't tell you the name of it because honestly it came in a black box labeled scope there's no brand name anywhere on the optic there's nothing on the box um, I would be surprised if the gentleman paid more than about two hundred dollars for this um, currently what you're looking at is the view through the optic at uh, a loophole zero point bore sighter and what I'm going to show you is I as I adjust the windage on this optic, I want you to see what happens to the elevation as well. Um, there we go. Now you can see the reticle moving on the grid of the bore sighter. Now each square in that reticle represents 8 inches at 100 yards. And I'm turning nothing but the windage knob here. We've already hit about a foot of vertical movement as we adjust only the windage knob. Now, originally I was going to zoom in and out and show you that, you know, I'm only touching the windage knob, but honestly it was such a pain in the butt uh, to get the camera lined up behind the optic so that you could see the reticle and the bore sighter that uh, I'm going to forgo all that. You'll see for the most part the reticle actually tracks okay left and right for well there's eight inches eh, probably 14 or 15 inches worth of movement but right here as we get towards the end this thing makes a hard left turn. Um, Half of this reticle's movement is not true. Um, if this guy's going to try and dial any windage on whatsoever when he's shooting, he's going to have a tough time. Uh, you're going to get what you pay for, guys. Don't go cheap on your optics. That's going to be the most important part of any rifle scope combination. Um, if your reticle's moving or doesn't track true every time you fire a shot, you're going to be aiming somewhere else for the follow-up shot. It's going to make it really tough to shoot a decent group or get a long-range hit with that. That's all I had to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye.